Hey everybody, it's Silver Shroom, welcome back to the Blender Solar System. Last time, we took a look at planet Uranus, and now we're moving on to the planet Neptune. So, Neptune is the eighth and furthest planet from the Sun. It is the fourth largest planet in the solar system, but the third most massive. It is in fact more massive than Uranus, but due to gravitational compression, it is just slightly smaller. Neptune was discovered on September 23, 1846 by German astronomer Johann Galli. I believe there are some old records of Neptune, including by Galileo Galilei, but it was never really seen as more than a star, since it was far away and orbited slow. But anyway, there is another man credited with the discovery of Neptune, and that is French astronomer Urban Le Verrier, who predicted Neptune's position by studying the orbit of Uranus and how a further planet would affect it. And Johann Galli discovered Neptune in the position predicted by Le Verrier. Now the name Neptune was originally proposed by Le Verrier, but there are other names, Janus, Oceanus, and even Le Verrier. They ultimately went with Neptune, who was the Roman god of the sea, known to the Greeks as Poseidon. Now, Neptune has a diameter of just over 49,000 kilometers, which is just under four Earths wide. And it rotates on its axis once in about 16 hours and 7 minutes. And the tilt on its axis is about 28 degrees. As such, it does have seasons, really long seasons, that I believe can be seen in the colors of its clouds. Yeah, like Uranus, it's, it's an ice giant with a similar makeup. With methane giving it its blue color. However, Neptune's atmosphere is actually a bit warmer than Uranus's, making Uranus the coldest planet, while Neptune is known for its extreme winds that break the sound barrier. Anyway, like the other giant planets, Neptune has itself a ring system, which are fainter than Saturn and Uranus's, but I believe not quite as faint as Jupiter's, and the rings all have names that were the names of people who contributed to the study of Neptune. Now, with all that out of the way, let's move on to Neptune's moons. So, the Neptunian system consists of 14 moons. Only one of them is large enough to be round due to its own gravity, and that is Triton. Triton was discovered on October 10, 1846 by English astronomer William Lassell. That's just 17 days after Neptune itself was discovered. It was named after a Greek sea god who was the son of Poseidon, and this name was suggested by French astronomer Camille Flammarion.
So looking at Triton with a diameter of about 2,700 kilometers, Triton is the seventh largest moon in the solar system, but actually the second largest moon with respect to its planet after Earth's moon. At a distance of about 355,000 kilometers, Triton orbits Neptune in just under six days. However, Triton is unique among large moons in that it orbits in the opposite direction of Neptune's rotation. And while its orbit is almost perfectly circular, it is heavily inclined to Neptune's equator. Now the retrograde orbit of Triton means that it could not have formed along with Neptune, and its composition heavily suggests that it was in fact a dwarf planet that Neptune captured from the Kuiper Belt. Neptune's 13 other moons are much smaller. Neptune's got seven regular satellites with, with orbits, some of them within the rings, much closer to Neptune's equator. And these are Despina, Galatea, Hippocamp, Larissa, Naiad, Proteus and Thalassa. Like Triton, Neptune's other moons are named after lesser sea gods from Greek mythology. And Neptune also has seven irregular satellites, including Triton, with heavily inclined orbits, and other than Triton, they are quite elliptical. In fact, Nereid, the second Neptunian moon to discover, has the most eccentric orbit of any moon in the solar system. The other irregular moons are Halmedi, Laomedea, Niso, Samothy, and Sao. So that's it for the moons of Neptune. How about we take a look at Neptune's orbit around the sun? So back in the solar system, we finally have all eight planets orbiting around the sun. Neptune orbits at an average distance of about 4.5 billion kilometers which is just over 30 astronomical units, and completes an orbit once every 165 years. For reference, since its discovery in 1846, Neptune did not complete an orbit until 2011. Now, let's take a look at Neptune a little closer. Here I've got Neptune and Triton. And now let's get a glimpse of it from Earth. Now, on a 
like the other planets, Neptune can, in virtually no circumstances, be seen from Earth without the aid of equipment. A dim planet, barely grazed by the light of the star it orbits around. And you can see Triton up there. So, that's it for the eight planets, but our solar system contains more than just that. So, next time the Blender Solar System, we're going to start taking a look at the smaller members of the solar neighborhood. See you then.